to find the downward force along an inclined plane acting on a roller due to gravitational pull of the earth and study its relationship with the angle of inclination by plotting graph between force and sin theta the inclined plane consists of a smooth plane hinged to a base so that it can be set at any desired angle consider a heavy metal roller connected to a scale pan by a light extensible string passing over a frictionless pulley resting on the plane the component mg cos theta of the weight acts normally downward on the plane balances the upward normal reaction say r of the inclined plane madam how can we find downward force along an inclined plane if total weight w1 is equal to m1g moves the roller up and total w2 is equal to m2g moves the roller down then downward force acting on the roller along the inclined plane w is equal to w1 plus w2 divided by 2 is equal to m1 plus m2 g divided by 2 this force w must be equal to mg sin theta that is w is equal to mg sin theta where mg is the weight of the roller for same roller mass m is constant therefore w is proportional to sin theta therefore a graph drawn between w and sin theta must be a straight line let's do an experiment to measure diameter of a given wire using a screw gauze our aim here is to find the downward force along an inclined plane acting on a roller due to gravitational pull of the earth and study its relationship with the angle of inclination by plotting graph between force and sin theta materials required are an inclined plane a trolley or roller pan weight box spring balance spirit level strong thread half meter scale procedure first of all determine the least count and zero error of spring balance find the weight of the roller and pan separately by using spring balance loose the nut and place the inclined plane on the table and make it horizontal using spirit level in this state the pointer should read 0 degree on protractor now check the pulley if it is not free from friction then oil it take a thread of suitable length and tie its one end with the roller and other end to the pan pass the thread over the pulley and through the slot in the base raise the inclined plane and fix it at a certain angle say theta put the weights on the pan and increase them gradually till the roller just starts moving upward with uniform velocity on tapping the plane gently note the weight placed in the pan now go on decreasing the weights placed in the pan until the roller just starts moving down with uniform speed on tapping the plane gently note the weights placed in the pan repeat the experiment several times by increasing the angle of inclination each time by s degree record all observations in a tabular form observations least count of spring balance is equal to x gram weight zero error of spring balance e is equal to x gram weight zero correction of spring balance minus e is equal to x gram weight observed weight of the roller w0 is equal to x gram weight corrected weight of the roller w0 is equal to mg is equal to w plus c is equal to x gram weight observed weight of the pan p0 is equal to x gram weight corrected weight of the pan p is equal to p0 plus c is equal to x gram weight 
angle of inclination theta sin theta 1 30 degree 0.5 2 35 degree 0.5738 3 2 40 degree 0.64279 445 degree 0.70711 550 degree 0.76604 655 degree 0.81915 760 degree 0.86 Six zero three, W sine theta is equal to mg sine theta. Gram weight, weight in pan when roller moves upward, W one gram weight, downward W two gram weight. Total weight when roller moves upward, W one is equal to W one plus p gram weight. Downward W two is equal to W two plus p gram weight. Force acting on roller downward. W is equal to W one plus W two by two gram weight. Error W. Difference. Mg sine theta. Gram weight. Calculations. Plot a graph between W and sine theta, taking sine theta along x axis and W along y axis. The graph between W and sine theta is a straight line. It verifies that W is proportional to sine theta. Result: downward force on the body of weight W is equal to mg comes to be mg sine theta. Graph between sine theta and W is a straight line. Therefore, W sine theta. Precautions: pulley should be frictionless. If not, then it should be oiled base should be stable and horizontal inclined surface should be clean dry and smooth use glass top thread should not touch the board or table weight in pan should be increased or decreased gradually in small steps weight should be noted only when the roller just starts moving up or moving down sources of error the pulley may not be frictionless Spring balance may not be accurate. Protractor graduations may not be correct. Base may not be horizontal. Thank you, ma'am, for this knowledgeable experiment.